Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of 17th episode. Should be 110? 111. 111. You're always down. Nailed it. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah. Sitting digitally across from me today is, of course, the one and only Alex. How are you? Hello. I felt a tarnished. Mmm, rise ye tarnished. <laughs> me and Alex have been playing nothing but Elden Ring. Before we get into Elden Ring, remember you can help us in multiple ways in this programming. We are the Easy Achievers Game Podcast. We come to you every single week. Lots of gaming news. We talk about pop culture things as well, but majority gaming centered around maybe Xbox, but the actual general gaming market as a whole as well. We would very much appreciate if you could help us in two three ways now first two are dependent on what platform you're on so if you're on a podcast service or a youtube you can do a couple things so if you're on a podcast service five star review us of course if you're on spotify there's a new five star review system there please give us the five stars that helps with the algorithm if you're on youtube you know the you know the drill you know the rules like comment subscribe you share with a buddy you do all these things whatever you want pick two of those five options i just gave you ring the bell do those things that will help us quite a bit with the algorithm do any of those we very much appreciate now patreon.com slash is the third way you can help us out go over to patreon there's multiple tiers you could do multiple things that you can support us at completely up to you if you want to help us financially we support or you, we appreciate any support you give to the show. Alex, What's I that? come to you every single week to ask one singular question. Before we get into the news, that one question is, what have you been playing? Just one thing. Elden Ring, man. Elden Ring. I literally hit 100 hours today. Alex? Hmm. About an hour before we recorded it. Mm-hmm. You did something. Uh, Killed a boss. Would you like to tell the achievers what you did? I didn't. I didn't. I achievers. I didn't kill just a boss. You just kill any boss. I killed the hardest boss in the game, and possibly I, I've a lot, I've heard a lot of people say that it is. I'm not sure. It's opinion. I'm I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, probably the hardest boss from all software games. Right now, I ask Alex. Mm-hmm. Is that the hardest boss you've ever fought in a video game? From a so- from, from soft a from game. soft. Okay, so just we're talking yes. just from soft. Okay. Yes. Yes. I mean, I yeah, from from soft. I believe yes. This was has been the hardest f- fight. It took me what? If you had guys, maybe more. Oh, okay. So you think thirty plus easily? Easily, minimum okay. thirty. Minimum thirty. You're probably thinking probably fifties. Yeah, I literally just yesterday. I've been at this for four days, four and days, just yesterday yeah. I used thirteen rune arcs. Some people, some of our achievers are probably like, "Oof, that's a waste." Yeah. But, <laughs> but I it mean, helped, I imagine, you, right? Yeah, no, it. I mean, I didn't beat her till today. That's true. So no, it didn't take me. That's, didn't. That's true. So, That's no. true. Now, um, a couple things with Elden Ring. Before we get into the news, again, if you want to skip all the Elden Ring talk, uh, Alex is very graciously mm-hmm. put, taking timestamps. But yes. sticking with Elden Ring, really quick, a hilarious thing happened before you got into the the thing today, now, Alex. Should I say the boss's name or should I leave it a secret? I think names are okay. We won't spoil mechanics, but there's. A uh, yeah, name. I won't say what. Well, I don't say what she does, but her name her name is Millennia. Yeah, and you do uh, have to do you... a very interesting quest just to get to her. Just yeah. to get to her. So good yeah, luck so if it, you're doing it blind and yeah, or look it up. That's yeah, in the tra- if you if for achievers people if you've seen the trailers, yep. the red haired chick with the one yep. arm, her very important lore rise apparently. There's yes, a lot of talk very with important. her. So mm-hmm. apparently she's a really big deal. I'm very excited to read yes. the lore when Fati Fiti oh, eventually my God. makes a video about it. I had I had to stop and put the controller down, and I was just like. I beat her. Thank God. Yeah. And I had, to, I, gave, I, had to, I had to take a deep breath. Now, speaking of the hilarious thing I was about to bring up. Yeah, go ahead. There were patch notes. So a lot of things got nerfed. There were two. There were so, there's too many. To, I'm not noting all the things no, that no, got no, nerfed. Yeah. But a Pretty lot of things stuff that we were, using were broken got nerfed. in this game. Yeah. A lot of things. I can't yeah. believe they even launched half of this. 
Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, maybe it's supposed to be this broken? Because, I, I mean, if you just use the ability, you know it's completely re- like broken. Yeah. The community knows how to deal with a bunch of this yeah, stuff. So yeah, when they figured yeah. it so out. So they yeah. nuked a bunch of stuff. So, Alex, you had to not only beat the boss, you had to completely remake your build as soon as you yeah. logged in today. Yeah, as soon as I logged in, I was like, so the stuff that I'm using is not as broke as it used to be. Pretty, and pretty what I'm doing is not helping. So I found a new way. Or a new build I wanted to do. And I'm like, okay, you know, this would help with this boss. I literally respect. Almost, I had her one hit the first try of me respecting. Got her maybe fourth time, maybe fifth time after that. Because I was like, okay, I got her. I could do it. Yeah, Alex, I Alex finally did used it. a bunch of different stuff. And you, to great success, it seems. Because... Whatever yeah. you used, you completely destroyed her. Like, mm-hmm. nowhere close to your prior attempts. Like, it was way stronger oh, no. than, than your stuff. It's harder with three people because she gets so much more health. Yeah, so you can't she's... go up in this game, Achievers. But yeah. uh, bosses do get harder. They get a mm-hmm. lot more health, and they... I don't know if this is true. I feel like they deal more damage, but they might not. I don't... I mean, I think to if you're not the host, I assume they deal more damage to you. Uh, to you the summon. Because you just don't have as much health and stuff like you would normally yeah. would. But man. Whew. But you I'm did glad it. that's over. You did it. My I big achievement was killing it. someone called the Lord of Blood. That was a real fun mm-hmm. time. I killed mm-hmm. that guy. F that dude in the A. The so I, now, imagine that boss fight. Like, times five. Yeah. No, I can't wait to fight that guy. Or fight the lady. Yeah. I cannot wait to fight her. We've been playing nothing but that. I've been enjoying it. I am level 113, I think. So I, I put a good bit. I think I'm at hour 30 or something like that. Maybe more. I don't know. Uh, I haven't really yeah. looked. It's probably more than that. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying I, the game. Yeah, I'm level 162. We're very much closely approaching my favorite some farm soft game. I think I think it probably will be, but I'll beat the game and then decide. But I'm pretty like sure Bloodborne is up there. I it's hard to say because I I I beaten this game and I'm yeah. still playing it. You're so fresh too. Like it's so Yeah, fresh. so I I have to go back and like think and see like is do I like this more than Bloodborne? I was like I have to think. That's that's the only question at this point. Is it better than Bloodborne to me? I think it is, but we'll, give me a we'll remastered blood. Give me a remastered Bloodborne, and give then I'll play it again. Give me a sixty frame Bloodborne, mm-hmm. and then I'll fully decide. Because this thing is, mm-hmm. it's not always sixty. Performance is actually pretty bad, but heard, it's not bad. I do feel, I do feel bad for the PC achievers. I hear it's pretty fucking yeah. terrible over there. Yeah, so sorry. It's actually smoother on Xbox. It's shocking. It's better on consoles, which it, mm-hmm. which means it just had a bad PC port. Mm-hmm. Probably made for a console. Had a bad piece. Oh boy. So, feel bad for all these users out there. Sorry about that. Hopefully they fix that soon. Um, I'm going to make fun of that in a little bit. Speaking of Elton Ring. Mm. Let's get into rapid fire. First rapid fire is some devs had some issues with Elden Ring. Um, and the review score it got. So I'm going to name who said these things because this is a news story. Mm-hmm. But this is by no means uh going to go mess with these people this this happened like days ago i wasn't going to cover it but it, this happened on march 3rd i wasn't going to cover it but i feel like it's a good point to bring up right now so this was on march 3rd so this is about a week uh, about 10 plus days ago as of recording so ahmad salama ux uh, director at ubisoft stockholm criticized elder ring in a tweet and a couple other devs chimed in so he tweets out uh, quote, the fact that Elden Ring scored a 97 Metacritic is proof that reviewers don't give a flying poop about game UX or UI, you know, game UI, basically. My life is a lie. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And then uh, Rebecca Fernandez, uh, which is graphics programmer at Nixus, nor PC graphics stability and performance, apparently. And then uh, senior quest designer uh, for... Uh, the latest Horizon game, so Horizon for Breast Blake uh, Rabouche, I believe is how you pronounce it. Apologies for messing that up. Nor Quest Design, really. So we have a little tweet there. This kind of blew up over the last couple of days. People commenting things. Uh, these people had to lock their Twitter accounts, um, I assume because uh, it blew up so much. So I feel bad for them. Because uh, although when you say things like that, you are open to being criticized. I do feel like people are probably being mean because it's the internet, so I do feel bad for them. But I did want to bring this up to kind of discuss. First off, I get to make fun of review scores, which I love doing. Um, 
So I get to do that. But also I get to bring up that we very rarely see other devs straight up just make fun of other games. And we have yeah. three devs right here just openly going like, uh, yeah, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. Why does it have a 97 on Metacritic if all these things are super bad, right? Mm-hmm. Alex, I wanted to poke your brain a little bit about this. Um, I have a, f- I have a fucking... I'm ready to go, but I want to hear from okay. you. Uh, what do you think of this? This is, again, um, Ubisoft Stockholm director for UI and things like that. Uh, a graphics programmer at Nexus and a senior quest designer for Horizon Forbidden West. What do you think? I feel like it's just at this point, it's just all opinion based because it's it's like I after the last couple of years, the uh, scores have just meant little and more and more and little to me. Before I used to care. Now, I mean, I don't care. Like literally, exa- what they're like, like, is it like unless I mean, I guess a mod is right. To me, at least for for I'm um, on my view because he's he's like oh people don't care about the game UX. I mean, I give this I would give this if I had to, I would give it a ninety seven because I mean it's it's a great game. Yeah, just because it has some little bugs here and there. I mean it didn't break the game. Right, the game it did it nothing caused for me it for it to not to work. Like I mean it works fine. It works just fine. Mm. As nor PC graphics. I mean, I I I can't say for PC people because I, I didn't yeah, play it. Yeah, we there. haven't played it. We we really can't. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, I, the only thing I can resemble is like Blight Town from Dark Souls One. Oof. I mean, that area, yes, was hard. I, I did. I did hear it, it wasn't gets, fun. I heard it gets pretty rough when you're twelve on a, frames. Uh, yeah, I heard it gets pretty rough when you're on a horse on certain PCs and you're fighting another thing on a horse. Interesting. Um, I guess because it's moving so much or something, and it, apparently just yeah. the PC optimization is just completely. I don't know how you fix it. I'm sure there's pe- yeah. forum posts that that one but... I can agree. Just because I mean, like, yeah, if there was poor performance on PC, it's kind of harder to play. The dude with the quest thing, that it, obviously, then this is not your type of game. You're, like, yeah. literally, no quest design. Really, like, do you really need a quest design? The quests are in the NPCs. You gotta go find it. Yeah. It's literally what the game is. If yeah. you don't like that, then it's not for you. Yeah, it's not for you. Yeah, so like, I'm, this is I love this game. Like this game is probably my game of the year right now. Oh, and it's or that early already. Yeah, I mean, yeah that early. I mean, hey, I, I, shout I mean, out to what some game that might be thrown Elder Ring. At. It's there. Yeah, it's definitely an gr- incredible game. Um, yeah. so uh, now that I have the ball, uh, I want to make fun of two things really. First, mm-hmm. this is why reviews are fucking dumb. These are why mm-hmm. scores are stupid and arbitrary. When you can cite a number and say it is wrong because of X, Y, Z, you are not the person reviewing it, doesn't matter. You weren't the person that reviewed it. You didn't, you didn't do it. Mm-hmm. So when we put numbers on art, it doesn't work because it's all opinion-based. Opinion, That's why yeah. we shouldn't have scores because it's dumb. Have reviews. Read the review to know what they thought about the game. Yeah. IGN did not review this game. A person at IGN that works there reviewed the game. We need to also eliminate that. Scores are really stupid. They are just ways of condensing thousands of words of a giant video game into a numeric value, and it doesn't mm-hmm. work. Case yeah, in point, just, these three it's... people bringing up things that don't work. Hey, this has a 97. Oh, by the way, the game is broken on PC. How does it have a 97? That doesn't make any sense. It makes zero sense. How does it have a 97, but there's an entire version of the game that basically doesn't work? That's why review scores are stupid. Do not do them. Do not review scores. If you're going to look at reviews, please don't fucking look at the score. Read what they're saying. See if their complaints... See the pros and cons, yeah, see not if the you, score. See if you line up with their complaints. Yeah, these are why I I hate this stuff because because you can ease I could do this with every single video game that's oh, yeah, ever easily. been given a ten. Last of Us. I mean, you could try to review a game that you really like and that I would probably not like, and I would review it bad. Yeah, it's just so it's, like these are all and like that doesn't mean the game's bad. It's yeah. just it's not my type of game. Obviously, these people, this game is not for them. Yeah, it sounds like these games are not for them, and also it does seem like they are kind of upset because. The game has a 97 on Metacritic, and they're probably yeah. they you know they probably feel a little upset because they probably are looking at it like damn I put a lot of work here. like imagine being a senior quest designer 
for Horizon Forbidden West. And this game, I believe Horizon Forbidden West has got an 88 on Metacritic. Mm-hmm. This game has a 97. That's uh, why he's like mad. A, a magic, th- like, imagine being a quest. Like, be, in, be in his shoes for a second. That probably feels no, pretty yeah, shitty. He probably put a lot of work into the quest design. And a game yeah. that has zero quest design yeah. <laughs> scored almost 10 plus points over his game. That 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 kind of that kind of sucks. So I, mean, I do I feel for it. him. I feel yeah. for him for sure. I don't want to feel like we're bullying these people. I'm sure yeah. these people are I very nice. I just feel like it, like it's just hard. It's hard to do it, to be on the other side too, because like then what it like you know okay then what if they put a quest design in every single game? So is every every is every game gonna feel the same? That's not gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I and I do. There's a. I wasn't going to bring this up, but there was a popular picture shown around. Um, what if Ubisoft made Elden Ring? Um, yes. I know you saw this, Alex. Achievers, yes. you can look this up. What if Ubisoft made Elden Ring? Um, and I'll be honest, it looks terrible. <laughs> so, it, dude, so, it looks horrible. It, it does look terrible. So the, 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 it the literally point, looks so much stuff everywhere. There's shit all over your screen. So the, the point was proven, I feel like, with that specific picture. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, this is every Ubisoft game. That is true. But again, it, it you know, it's it's hard to it's hard to say any one person's wrong because again, opinion. So yeah, it's all opinion. I'm not here to dictate what this guy should think. But I wanted to bring it up because it it blew up and it blew up again it's, and then it blew up again because um, it's annoying when the people um, bring up the rating score. I'm like, <sighs> yeah, I know it's annoying. Um, but um. It blew up again because um, uh, Mr. Manny Plays, who runs mm-hmm. Mr. Manny Plays YouTube on YouTube, uh, made a image of. <laughs> it was kind of funny, but I, I I feel like people took it the wrong way. But um, the <laughs> I believe it was Assassin's Creed Unity. I don't remember mm-hmm. the game, but he said, "Uh, El- uh Ubisoft devs, <laughs> um, Elden Ring's UI is really bad." And it's Ubisoft, and the picture is of I remember. I know you remember this, Alex. It's one of the yeah. Assassin's Creed games, and it's zoomed out with no filters on, so the entire screen is filled with icons. Do you remember the? Uh, uh, I think it was Unity, or it might have been Syndicate. But like, there's a quest thing for everything on the screen, so the entire map is filled with icons. Versus with Elden Ring, mm-hmm. where the only thing really on your map is Sights of Grace, and that's it. Yeah. So that that brought this all up again, and I wanted to quickly bring over this. So that was our two cents. We're moving on. Yep. Yep. Spokesperson. Uh, this is still in rapid fire, by the way. It's a, that maybe that should have been a news story. We talked about that a little more than I thought. Spokesperson for Quantic Dream. Upon asking about the state of the game, about the rumors that we covered last week, uh, saying that Star Wars Eclipse was facing troubles on various things like hiring and things like that. Uh, gave a hilarious quote to IGN. I wanted to cover this quote. Star Wars Eclipse has not been delayed because Quantic Dream never announced or promised a launch window for the title. Recruiting remains active as it works for Star Wars Eclipse, third-party publishing, and unannounced projects, end quote. That's kind of hilarious. This person is just like, uh, it never got delayed because we never said when it come out. Like, <laughs> like he's playing fucking poker or something. Like, what? This is really, it was just really funny. I l- audibly laughed when I w- was looking for stories for the docket because mm-hmm. it was just... It just took me off guard. Like, okay, I mean, we're not stupid, bro. Like, we know internal delays happen. Like, it's okay. No one's making fun of you. So it was mm-hmm. really funny how they said it. It's, it's really funny. Uh, but there's a developer video on Starfield. If anyone wants more details on the game or some uh, little snippets of the game, uh, it, sh- it debuts a new companion. Some ways that you could tackle the morality and factions in the game. Some concept art, a couple places they can go. If you want a full uh, look at that, Bethesda did release kind of a dev interview on the game. It is sent to launch Mar- uh, November 11th this year. Quick pulse check, Alex Starfield. What do you think? Quick pulse, Jess. I mean, also, I, there's I, a rumor. I'm, really quick, sorry. Uh, before I forget, no, there's ahead, a ahead. rumor that every planet in Starfield is the size of Skyrim. I don't believe that at all. What? I don't believe that at all. So, no. So I, 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 but I just want to bring that up quickly. If that is true, I'll eat my foot November 11th. But fucking, I mean, I, I, I get that. I mean, I can see it could happen because we have No Man's Sky. 
Yeah, but New Mexico is automatically generated. That well, that's what I'm saying. So I don't know how this game is gonna work. I mean, we, they true. haven't told us if this game will be automatically generated. I don't know. That's true. That that is, that that is a good point. They could yeah, automatically so, generate, which which I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah, only in certain games do I like that. Like, yeah, eighties or something. Doesn't no, yeah, kind of the it. point is to see it again, but whatever. Um, but quick pulse check. What no, you, yeah, what do you, what I, do you I, think I, about Starfield? I'm excited because I just I want to see what this is. We've been, we've known about it for so long. I'm like, okay, what type of game is this? Is this a first person, a third person? Is it a strategy? Like, I like I want to see gameplay or something of it. Yeah, I'm pretty so sure. I just want to see what it looks like. Person. I think you could change it though. Yeah, because you can basically do that with Skyrim and because it's Star Bethesda, World. right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. So a third person type. Yeah, it's probably gonna be switchable because switchable, Skyrim yeah. was and Fallout is. Yeah, mm-hmm. I assume you'll be able to switch. I, yeah, I want the game to come out. I, I don't. That, I'm not even gonna watch the dev thing. I, I no, just, I'm, yeah. I have no interest. I, I'll no, yeah, I'll out. wait for the game to come out and I'll I'll play when it comes out. Yep. EA Play Live will not happen this year. I, I mm. yeah. EA probably has literally nothing to say, so they're like, no, God, we can't, we can't do this. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> like, what are we gonna talk about? Madden again? Right. Um, Last year's Madden. We're gonna cover more Elden Ring later. Sorry, Achievers, if you don't care about Elden Ring, but Elden Ring is up to 12 million units already. 12 million units. That's the best-selling FromSoft game ever in its first month. So, Also, Supermassive just released a new trailer for the new game called The Quarry, coming June 10th, 2021. Now, this seems not a continuation of the Dark Pictures anthology series that they're doing. It seems to be a kind of successor to Until Dawn, which is very interesting. Interesting. Um, I think they're. I think they're gonna try and bow out of the dark pictures thing, or they're gonna kind of dovetail like into this. See how this goes. But mm-hmm. and it's called the Gory. There is a new trailer if you want to go look at it. Coming June tenth. So very soon. Alex, mm. we're in the actual news now. Oh yeah. Now this is an interesting one. This is coming from Video Games Chronicle. Please go read the full article if you want full details. VGC wrote an article detailing the initiative's problem with retaining talent. Now, over the last year, apparently, 36 people have left the company, citing several reasons. Primarily, it does seem to revolve around creative differences. Some standouts uh, include, but not limited to, these are just kind of the bigger ones that I saw. Senior design team game director Dan Newberger, design director Drew Murray. Drew Murray, I do recognize. I need to look him up on... um, I need to look him up later because that, that, that's very familiar. Lead level designer Chris O'Neill, principal award builder Jolene Myers, and much more. Those are just a couple big names that I saw. And all this seems to coincide with the announcement of Crystal Dynamics co develop announced late last year. So I do feel like maybe these departures were not maybe seen coming. So they maybe co developed this or the co develop of Crystal Dynamics and, and everyone involved was just like, fuck this. Like, this is, this is awful. Now, we don't have full context of a bunch of things. I do have a quote from the studio head, uh, Daryl Gallagher, I'll cover real quick. Quote, it's no small task to build a studio and reinvent a de- beloved franchise. In creating the initiative, we set out to leverage co-development partnerships to achieve our ambitions, and we're really excited about all the progress we're seeing with our relationship with Crystal Dynamics. End quote. And also, um, just to kind of uh, cut it before it kind of gets out there it is important to know that a bunch of studios are having problems retaining talent not really just them but it is never a good sign when over a year 36 people leave before like your game is even like halfway through Mm because the game is like probably nowhere near done so this is not good now alex Hmm. the writing's on the wall right like there's this game yeah. is in trouble. This game is in trouble, right? I'm wondering if I wonder what is, the issue this is, is. Just as a reminder, the initiative is making Perfect Dark, this is the Perfect Dark remake. Mm. Yeah, and see, I'm wondering if there's having issues like with the game itself, or like people are not, like, let's say, uh, I don't know if people are not agreeing, or are they just trying to get new ideas, see, yeah, or it seems that or is it, it seems a studio seems issue that there's creative differences, and there was also yeah. a reason given that it seems very top down run so a bunch of people on the top kind of dictating what the creative choices are going to be you can read that a number of ways so i'm not going to try and decipher what that's supposed to mean but 
it could mean, you know, we have a bunch of executives trying to say, hey, you know, I pop cult, put this pop culture thing. You know, it could be a bunch of things trying to mess with the overall design and it could make them upset. These A lot of these people are very, very, very veteran. So they, pro, you know, it's that's what worries me more than everything. A couple of these are yeah. straight up vet, vets. So when they leave, it's like, Ooh, you're like, yeah, there's something that was, wrong. That was your big talent. Um, You should have. You should have made clear that they shouldn't leave with the payment. Uh, it's Microsoft, so you can yeah. afford it. So why why are they leaving? So I'm I've I'm gonna put this to DefCon One, Alex, which I believe is the bad one. So let's put this to DefCon One. We're worried. Is it? At least I am. I think it is. Is it DefCon Five? That's bad. Doesn't matter. DefCon One for the achievers is bad. <laughs> so DefCon One is definitely. I'm definitely terrified for the Perfect Dark. You're correct. Game. Is the highest. Cool. Wait. So one is That's the worst. The highest, yeah, it's referring to confirmed state of war. <laughs> okay, that, maybe that's ill-timed <laughs> for things that are happening in the world. So anyways. <laughs> anyway, continue. I will say I'm worried. Now, Alex, am I too much of a worry word here? They have Crystal Dynamics coming in to help, which, again, is not good for Crystal Dynamics because that's a because Square yeah, Enix basically I'm... sold their team for a little while <laughs> to, to help run this game. So... It's very yeah. interesting in multiple ways. We're seeing multiple leaves. We're seeing a co-development of a major first party that we m almost never see. We also, uh, I also kind of gave them grief when this was announced late last year, I believe around September, because uh, they tried to say it like it was a good thing. They were like, oh, we have Crystal Dynamics helping us. I'm like, why? Uh, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> why yeah. can't you hire people? Um, and I remember at the time, people were like, why are you guys making a big deal of this? It it it's just hard to retain talent now, and I'm like, this is fucking Microsoft. Why are we giving them passes? They make a lot of money. They can afford to keep people. So this yeah. is something that money is not buying. This is something wrong. So, what do you think? No, I think I think it's there. I think there's something internally. Like I think, like you said, there's like some differences uh, going on, and I just. I'm really worried that um, I mean, didn't this just didn't this studio just open? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a brand new so studio. Yeah, it hasn't uh, even yeah. released the game yet. That's uh, what's yeah, fun. I'm, I'm worried they're gonna close the studio down before it has the chance. Oof! I mean, it happens sometimes. Before they can even get a game out, they get closed. Mm -hmm. I don't think they will because Microsoft just can't afford to look bad like that. But yeah, I will I say, say, I, I will say. Damn, does it look like Microsoft can't run a damn studio for the life of them? Why they, this is why they keep buying studios. They can't run them. Jesus. Yeah. But they they bought Rare, ran them into the ground, but you know, Sea of Thieves kind of brought them back up. Yeah. This is their chance to kind of prove that they can run a studio. And we see this. 343's a mess with Halo Infinite, right? What what's going on? What what is going on? There has something is wrong. Something is wrong. We we can't all have these problems and just be like, oh, it's the industry. Like, is it management on Microsoft's side? Is it just they're putting the wrong people in charge of these studios? We're like, what is what is going on? Because 343 be was a Something above the studios that's for, higher. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, have, yeah. maybe there's some sort of, like, big manager that's overlooking these studios that is just doing everything wrong. I don't know. Something, something mm. is wrong. And it's just proof that... I mean, they're gonna Jesus, have to change it soon because if not, something's gonna sink. Yeah, it it, it this proves that Microsoft is it's they can't fucking run studios for the life of them. I mean, they bought mm -hmm. Bethesda and Activision maybe so they don't have to worry about running these studios. I don't know. Uh, Jesus, please fix it. Because Alex, when's the last time we had a new IP from a new studio? Sea of Thieves? No, oh, it's, no, it's not Sea of Thieves. What shit? Because that's not a new studio. No, it's uh, not a new studio. I can't think of. I can't think of the last time Xbox had a new studio. How long has Playground and Turn Ten been out? Damn, that might have been. Might, that might be because I think they. Wait, didn't they? No, they bought Turn Ten. I think. Yeah, because Turn not Ten. But... Turn Ten. I thought isn't Turn Ten the ones that do uh, Forza and. Yes. Or they do the motorsport and then Playground yeah, does Horizon. Yes, you nailed it. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, okay, so they may turn ten in two thousand and one. Okay, that might be the last time because they because they they immediately went in to make Forza Motorsport. Yeah. 
I can't think of because they didn't make Gears. That was epic. They they co made that. Mm hmm. And then, but then they created the coalition, didn't they? Yes, but that was that was not until two thousand and like say eleven or something like that. That was like around the time they made Gears Four. I think. Yeah. No, but are we talking about? You're talking about like just new IPs, I, not like I'm saying a new IP over. with a gotcha. new studio. Got it. Mm. Or even a new studio, just making a fucking new game. I th- I think Turn Ten's the last time. Achievers, please. We'll we'll put in the corrections next week. Let us know, cause I just thought about that. Like, oh my god, two thousand and one is the last time I th- I th- I think Turn Ten was made to make motorsport. Motorsport, and yeah, and that's yeah. Oof. yikes, man. Um, we see why they see. uh they buy studios all the time now. Let's see, let's see, Obsidian. No, that's been out. Undead Labs. I have. I, have they we seen that. anything from that? Undead Labs seen, makes seen? um. They did gay. Gotcha. Oh, that's right. You say, that? You're saying like studio. Uh, no, no, you might be right. I, 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 I could be wrong. Alpha Dog Games. I don't even know. Did they make that one? I have no idea. February 2022, MPD was released. We usually don't go over MPD results. And we, if we do, we go over it lightly. But it's mm-hmm. a lighter news story, and I do feel like it's... A little interesting this month, so let's bring it over. So, Switch remains the best-selling hardware for February 2022 in both units and dollars. Elden Ring launch month blows out sales for year-to-day, only trailing behind Call of Duty Vanguard. So, its launch month was insane for the game. After barely a month on the market also, Elden Ring is ranked fifth best-selling games of the 12-month period. Horizon was the second best-selling game of February. So... Let's go over the top 20 video games for February of 2020. So we got number one, Elden Ring. Number two, Horizon Forbidden West. Number three, Pokemon Legends. Number four, Dying Light 2. Number five, Total War Warhammer 3, which is pretty good for that game. Pretty mm-hmm. good. Uh, uh, number six, Call of Duty Vanguard. Number seven, Madden NFL 22. Number eight, Mario Kart 8. Number nine, FIFA 22. Number 10, Minecraft. Number 11, Spider-Man Miles Morales, 12, Mario Party Superstars, 13, Animal Crossing New Horizons, 14, Smash Brothers, 15, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, 16, Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy, 17, NBA 2K22, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearls, number 18, number 19, Far Cry 6, and number 20, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, and digital sales... Do not include for Pokemon Legends Arceus, Dying Light 2, Mario Kart 8, Animal Crossing, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, NBA 2K20. Those are not included with digital sales. I wonder, so, why. I wonder why they don't include the digital sales for those. Because they don't release them. Um, Nintendo sometimes releases some, I think sometimes, like very rarely, releases their digital sales for their games. Dying mm. Light 2... Uh, they're square. You know, yeah, they're square. Yeah, a lot. A lot of the times, digital sales just aren't calculated because they the, they just don't release them. This is all, by the way. Um, fan run isn't the right word, but like this is kind of fan run. Like they they like they just mm-hmm. gather the numbers and like do 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 weird math and shit to get. The- yeah, but Elden Ring being the top game of February twenty two, not surprising to people that are used to FromSoft games, but. 12 million copies in barely a month. That's pretty wild. So, mm-hmm. congrats to FromSoft for that. Uh, I will say Pokemon Legends being number three, not including digital. Oof, it might have still sold more than Horizon, which is which is crazy. Pokemon is nuts. Mm-hmm. 12 months ending. So, this is the basically year to date. So, this is 12 months ending in February 2016. Call of Duty Vanguard, Madden NFL 22, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Elden Ring, Battlefield, Battlefield 2042, Far Cry 6, Mario Kart 8, Resident Evil Village, FIFA 22. Damn, Resident Evil still kicking in there. Still kicking. Still kicking. That's 12 months. So, I mean, it did, uh, yeah, that's, that's 12 months ending. So, 12 months as soon as February mm-hmm. 22nd, counting all of that. Elden Ring's already fifth best selling, but right behind Pokemon. How is, how is Battlefield in there? Because it's uh, name recognition, man. They see Battlefield, they buy it, man. This, this, is why, this is why. This is why you fucking... You wait for games. Because what did this say tell the EA? They, they made enough money. Probably. They probably didn't make as much money as they wanted to, but they probably made enough. Yep. 
They made enough. They're like, all right, let's work on the next one. <laughs> Is it going to be shit? Probably. Probably. We're make money off anyway. Are we not going to have a leaderboard at launch? Definitely. You know what we're going to do this time? No multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> now it's just single player. February 2022, uh, top 10 games for Xbox, Elden Ring, Call of Duty Vanguard, Dying Light 2, Madden NFL 22, Black Ops Cold War, Forza Horizon 5, Halo Infinite, FIFA 22, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Far Cry 6. Going into PlayStation platforms, top 10 for the February. Horizon 2, Elden Ring, Dying Light 2, Stay Human, uh, Call of Duty Vanguard, Madden, Spider-Man Miles Morales, FIFA 22, Ghost of Tsushima, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, NBA 2K22. Nintendo platforms. A lot of Nintendo games on this sheet, Alex. Pokemon Legends, Mario Kart 8, Mario Party Superstars, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Pokemon, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Mario 3D World, Just Dance 2022, New Super Mario Bros. That is your NP results for February up until now. Any standouts, Alex? Anything you want to talk about? Um, would it have mattered if uh, Elden Ring would have been bo- uh, above Horizon on PlayStation platform? What do you would mean? Would you have been surprised? Would I have been, would surprised? Have been surprised? I would not yeah. have. I'm actually surprised Horizon is top that. Now, it did have a l- technically longer on the market. On the market, yeah. Um, so that so technically, might... Technically, Elden Ring has only been out for what? A week? For, yeah, because this ends fe- the day. So this ends the 28th. It came out. Yeah. The, what day did it come out? The 24th? Oh, the 25th. It. it was the 25th. 25th. So it was February. out for three days. <laughs> and it's number two. Yeah, it really came out 25th. Wow, I don't remember it being. Pretty like sure it was the 25th. Yeah. No, no, it is. Uh, yeah, it is. I was just okay, like, yeah. wow, it's already been, it's yeah, been it's, almost it, a month. I don't it, remember. I don't remember it being almost a month. Yep. Almost a month now. But yeah, wow. so for three days, Achievers, that's important to know. Thank you for bringing mm-hmm. that up, Alex. I did not cover that. For three days, it almost was a number one in its category. <laughs> like. And it most likely would have been given a couple more days. So no, yeah, if you give it a couple more days, I'm sure it would have been. And it did top uh, uh, Xbox, although they did not have yeah. a Horizon. So like, no, yeah, they didn't have anything yeah. like their number two is Call of Duty Vanguard. So yeah, Jesus, it, that shows yeah, you that I'm, shows you the power. Three days and it just bam shoots right. Well, up it's there. crazy how Vanguard is even above Dying Light. I'm not saying Dying Light's like a, a amazing game, but because it was new, but I would have thought it would have been yeah, higher. It's new, but. You know, that also kind of tells you, like, they probably sold, but they didn't sell enough. Cause yeah, that, but because Dying Light's number three on PlayStation and number two on Xbox. And see, that's and see, it's above Call of Duty Vanguard from on PlayStation. Yep. But not on Xbox. And so that means Xbox. more people, more people on Xbox play Call of Duty. Yeah. I, I'm, I'd be very curious about the distribution. I just, I would think, I, I think. The percent of people who play Vanguard is probably higher on Xbox, mm-hmm. but I but I th- I still think it sells more on PlayStation. If that makes sense, mm-hmm. like the percent of people the, who are actively playing it, probably. I've heard there's more cheaters on PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Private Let's Division announced four new publishing partners: Yellow Brick Games in Quebec. Uh, these people are known for being founded by an ex Dragon Age director. Uh, Piccolo Studios is Barcelona. Base studio e- e- evening star and digute fabric four new publisher partners for private division quickly covering that very excited to see their games pencent has yet another acquisition in tequila works now if you've heard or if you remember tequila it sounds right they made rhyme rhyme was very popular guilt the sexy brutal which i'd be very interested to see Brutalia. what that game is and the upcoming game, Son of Nunu, which is a League of Legends story. So mm, they were purchased. Yeah. Here's a quick quote from CEO Raul Rubio of Tequila Works. Quote, for 12 years, the teams at Tequila Works have passionately crafted high-quality titles that radiated our personal sensibilities. But there's a limit to how much you can grow by yourself. End quote. Just a quick quote. Uh, yeah, so he's like pretty up there like, yeah, they offered us a lot of money. We took mm-hmm. it. <laughs> We we let them do it. Oh yeah, so they now have majority control of. Yeah, Tencent still buying stuff. Still buying stuff. Still buying stuff. Uh, don't, no one worry though. No one worry. No one talk about it, please. Just no one even talk about it. It's just, it's just, it's just. I'm sure nothing bad in the future will happen if Tencent buys 
30 to 40 percent of the game's industry all good moving on there was an id at xbox showcase you might be asking yourself what yeah there was a full-on showcase. showcase of games i missed it me and even hear of it i'm on everything all the time so mm-hmm. i missed it i'm sure the achievers missed it so i'm gonna quickly go- cover this showcase um and there was a really cool uh reveal at the end now i'm gonna talk about so they open uh they open with immortality uh coming to console september 22 it's an interactive film trilogy from sam barlow this is the creative of her story if you remember that um what happened to marissa marcel explore footage from her lost movies to solve the mystery coming to xbox series s and x and game pass separate uh, summer 2022 interesting flintlock the siege of dawn kepler interactive and a44 this is coming to consoles 2022 gods and guns collide in flintlock and open a new open world action rpg from the makers of ashen if you remember that game join nor and her mysterious companion enki on an epic journey of vengeance, gunpowder, and magic in humanity's last stand. Coming 2022, Xbox Series X and uh, Xbox One, available day one with Game Pass. Curse to Golf, Thunderful Games, Chi High Labs, PC, and it's to be determined on when it comes out. Curse to Golf is a golf-like adventure where every shot counts with insane hazards, otherworldly power-ups, and tons of repayability. Will you make it out of golf purgatory, or will you forever mm. be cursed to golf? Escape Academy, I am 8-bit coin crew and skybound games skybound games console 2022 you just arrived at escaped academy a school where promising students train to become the ultimate escape room master play over a dozen masterfully handcrafted rooms designed by experienced experts in the field of real life escape rooms i don't know okay experience the entirety of escape academy alone in single player or through two-player cooperative play Available in local or online split screen, explore the campus of Escape Academy and get to know the facility, careful cast of characters, each an expert in art of escape, and some of the secrets yet to be uncovered. Featuring music and sound design by the one and only... <laughs> Doze One. Thank you. <laughs> Doze One. Uh, they're featured in Gangs Beats, Sludge Life, Disc Room, Enter the Gungeon. Available with before you, Game Pass. Before you read the next one, I feel like you're going to be excited for this one because I'm excited for it. Okay. And also stop me, Alex, if you want to talk about any of these games. Carry on. (laughs) Whaleful White Thorn Games. This is coming to console to be determined on the date. Whaleful is a combination of... Strategy RPG. Thank you. Strategy RPG and JRPG. I was was thinking of Nation. So I was like, Southern (laughs) RPG? What the fuck? Thank you. Strategy (laughs) RPG. Set in a high fantasy world inspired by the Lord of the Rings and the Suikoden series and the Final Fantasy series. Okay, we have three different things that are inspiring. <laughs> the content of o- Osfield is a unique one, harshly divided among territorial lines and shadowed by enormous sky whales. The economic and political powers shift every hundred years as one of these beasts ages and dies, plummeting to the ground below. The economic, technological, and military boons from the whale's bodies are considered and so is the are considerable sorry that's that's my mess up are considerable and so is the conflict over their remains players will command them armies of river witch and bring an end to the sinister plot to shoot down the legendary creature and throw the world into chaos okay i am into this i am very much into this Giant whales that fly around, and when they die, they want their things for weapons. Sounds hilariously awesome. So I'm definitely yeah. playing this game. As soon Whale as I saw it, it says the Suikoden series, I was like, oh, done. He's yes. going to get it. Yes. Very excited for this. Sounds yeah. like it will be very Suikoden in its army mechanics, because it says players will command the armies of yeah. River Witch. So you'll probably be like a little top-down army fighting, kind of like in Suikoden. Yeah. What is this? What? Re- what Wrestle is Quest, it? Skybound Games, <laughs> Mega Cat Studios coming to consoles and it's to be determined on the date. Oh, wow. Tag Team with Destiny. <laughs> Pro Wrestling and RPG Fantasy Collide in the Ultimate Pixel Powered Adventure. Macho Man Randy Savage and Andre the Giant and tons of other icons guide your way to glory beyond the ring. The hero's journey ain't just an epic quest. It's WrestleQuest. There's even more exciting news with all the Game Pass announcements. Um, these are ones that are coming uh, and are available now. 
WrestleMania is going wild. So Wrestle WrestleQuest is hilarious. So this has have to be in some way affiliated with WWE because I believe they have the trademark for the names. So this has to be in somewhat affiliated. Pretty Maybe. sure they have the trademark. Okay, so these are announcements. So these are games that are coming out. Not really ID at Xbox, but they're announcing that they're coming to Game Pass. But of course, you know, they are kind of indie. So Tunic is available right now on Game Pass. Go download it and try it out. Tunic is an isometric action adventure where you explore the wilderness, find monsters, and discover secrets. You play as a tiny fox in a big world that is filled with mystery. Tunic is out now, Series X, and Xbox One. Play day one of Game Pass and be a brave little fox. Crusaders King I, 3. What? When, when I looked at it, I watched the trailer, and it, look, it reminds me a lot of... Um... The one we, uh, the game we just played, uh, Death with the bird. Store. You, thank you. You knew exactly what I was talking about. Yep. Yeah, Death, 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 very Death, Death Store. Store. Clearly, Legend of Zelda, um, expired as well. I heard it's a yeah. tremendous game, so I'm very excited to try it out. And it's on Game Pass. Yep, can't go wrong. You got Game Pass? Go download. Oh, you can't right go now. wrong. Crusader Kings Three Paradox Interactive Console, March 29th. 20- Two is the date. Watch Grammy Award winner and rap royalty T Pain rewrite history and style in Crusader Kings Three. The natural utopia is disrupted when His Majesty's legendary dynasty and new personal religion encounter surprising opposition. You too can take control of history when Crusader Kings Three launches on Game Pass on March 29th. Wait a minute. Yes. So are so- they saying? Are they saying he's in the game? Or are they saying he, you he's playing it? Or is he like is he a character? Because the cover that's not that's not no T-Pain. Cl- clearly that's not T Pain. <laughs> that is a white blonde like, male. <laughs> yes, that is not I mean, I'm T-Pain. just okay. So so like is he T Pain rewrite history in style? This natural you t- watch it says watch Grammy award and rap so I'm, so I'm assuming he's in the trailer if you watch it. So maybe he's playing it. He's probably playing it. They probably paid him a shit ton of money to okay. come and like make fun of the game or something. Oh, interesting so if you probably watched right. it he probably was in the trailer or something achievers if you have some sort of correction for that i don't think many people care but if you if you do write in yeah this this is, is what we're excited for what i wanted to really talk about trek to yomi this is a devolver digital game spring 2022 as a vow to his dying master the young swordsman hiroki is sworn to protect his town and the people he loves against all threats. Faced with tragedy and bound to duty, the lone samurai must voyage beyond life and death to confront himself and decide his path forward. Coming to Series S, X, Xbox One, and Game Pass, Spring 2022. Alex. Oh, that's in the next like month or two. This game looks awesome. I want to show the stuff, but I also don't want to be claimed. So I will try... I get it. And see an image of the game, but Alex, can you kind of describe the gameplay for me? Now, it was like a black and white samurai side scroll. So, okay, so game. Rem- if ever if anybody remembers, um, song- songs of iron, it- it's kind of like you know side scroller that type, but it's more on the three D aspect. So like it's still side scroller, but there's more three D to it. Um, it reminds me, but like I said, it does remind me a lot of Song of Iron. Um, it's a, how would you say it? Because it's a side scroller, but like, it's not hack and slash. Would it be? Eh, it, I, I couldn't tell from the little bit of gameplay that we saw. Because um, I can't tell if it's like, you know, you got to parry like, like, in, like in Tsushima, but, or is it just like, you know, you got to make sure you don't get hit. Is it like Songs of Iron to like, you know, you, if you get hit once or once or twice, I can't remember how many times you die and then you get a restart. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a good question because it doesn't specify now. It was a free form. So I wouldn't call it hack and slash because that kind of de- denotes like you're not really comboing. It seems like there's some sort of comboing style okay. type thing going on. Like you, it does look like you are trying to do something. Yeah. Um. It just it looks sick. So I can't wait. Oh, yeah. I can't cool. wait for this game. Um. We didn't see a whole lot, but what we saw, I'm very excited for. It. Yeah. Um. But it does look like a kind of combo. Is it, it reminds me a lot of um. Oh, what was the name of the game? Oh my god, I can't believe I'm forgetting. Ah, uh, sorry, achievers. It was um. 
you played as like a guy who had a sword and like like the people literally like, half the games in the world I, shut the fuck <laughs> so it's <laughs> that you were viewing through a security camera like that was the kind of the point of game and it was like super okay. trippy the guy was like had hallucin hallucinations so like you would be mid-level and you'd wake up in a oh i don't know uh in a um a therapist chair like talking like it was crazy game i have no idea i can't dude. remember what the game was though oh achievers someone i'm like i'm kicking myself someone tell me in the comments please and i'll dovetail it not dovetail i'm sorry I, i'll cover it in the next episode Ugh. i'll try to think uh throughout the show but alex that's the news for the week i don't have any data updates for you this week so I missed if there were any delays or anything like that. Uh, of course, uh, Star Wars Eclipse is not delayed because they never set a date. So <laughs> that that does not count as a date update, apparently. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, got really, I, he got really offended. He got, oh, yeah. The spokesperson was like, first off, how dare you for even asking that question? Um, we will, uh, I'm sure, have date updates for next week. So let's not worry. Yeah. But I, I did not see any uh, huge delays or anything. Alex. Hmm. I like to end the show like I started, asking one singular question. This is, of course, what do you have queued up for the week? Now, this could be, of course, a game, a sort of comic book, a book, maybe an audio book or a movie, a TV show, anything. This is not only for Alex. This is for the Achievers at home. If you have something queued up for the week, let us know in the comments below. We can have a nice chat about it. Alex, what mm. do you have queued up? Um, since I'm pretty much... At least I've done all the main stuff I want to do in Elden Ring. There's still a bunch of bosses I want to fight. I'm going to co-op with you. I'm tempted to go back you're, to Elden you're, uh, like to... you're in like I'm in, in the, the void now. You're like in the honeymoon stage, kind of. Like you're, yeah, so it's, now it, you're getting close to, to like reality stuff. coming, and you're like, oh, what, what do I do now? You know? Yeah, so I beat this. I'll probably go back to Destiny, because I haven't played oh. the new season, really. Okay. Um, The GTA... Re, uh, remaster thing came out. I might play that for some achievements. Do we play online to find out we hate it more? No, I'm not playing online. I'm just Me playing either. the story. Um, I am not either. Uh, I don't know. There's not much because uh, I plan on the horizon. Don't gotta worry about that. Okay. I might watch some shows because I gotta catch up some catch up on some shows. I just finished watching The Last Kingdom, the Ooh. final season. Really good. I gotta watch Vikings Valhalla. That that shows out. Yep. Gotta watch all those CW shows. I'm behind. So I have. I mean, I have stuff to do. You're, go you're kind of going. You're you're going off your bender of Elden Ring. You're kind of yes. rediscovering. The I mean, after a hundred hours, I think I'm satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> but knowing me, I'm probably gonna keep playing. Yeah, you, and you can play a little bit. After I'm done helping you and you beat the game and stuff, I'm probably gonna start Journey too. So don't know yet. Oh. Okay. I'm curious yeah. if uh, I was curious if you're going to make a second character or not. I want to because after the after the build that I found towards the end of the game that I beat the hardest boss with, I think I might re I mean I'd start that in the in the new playthrough and do and keep going. Cuz yeah. I wonder how that works. So like do I keep all my equipment or I believe like... you keep everything if it's like other dark souls. You keep yeah. everything. I don't think you lose. I never re did a New Game Plus for a Dark Souls game. Yeah, I only I played it really once and then always restarted. Hey, I don't think you really lose it. Okay. Now, they God, do increase was... the difficulty of everything. So, yeah. I was, hey, I was hey. curious of when I finish it, start a new character mm -hmm. and just do a completely different build. Um, yeah. So, it's not as difficult, but I don't know. Also, can you have multiple characters on one account? With Elden Ring? I don't think so. If it makes me delete... It's not, I'm not deleting my character. So if I can't do that, then I might just respec and try something else, maybe? Yeah. Know. Yeah, no, I don't think you could delete it. You don't think I can make a new one? Sorry, I don't think... Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't think you can add... Uh, yeah, you can only have one character. You don't have character one character. Yeah, it's not... Yeah. yeah. So I, I'll probably just respec or... Or maybe just stick with my build. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. Because I, I would like to one day a thousand this... Um, achievers, for you, if you don't know, you have to beat the game three times mm -hmm. to get the thousand achievement. Or if you're on PlayStation, you just save scum it, which I wish. Actually, and I, but I, it's I could on Xbox. Three or four, but I, I think you're right. It is, I think it is three. I think it's three. Yeah. It's, 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 I don't want to ruin the ending. 
but it's three no, endings. Good. I didn't want to you're say good. the name because it kind of says what it is, but there's three endings, you know. So what? Oh, Alex discovered something. What is this? What are you doing? Can you have multiple save slots in Elden Ring? Uh, let's see. Uh, why you weren't able to save the game is uh, automatically each save. It's something on here said that you were is like there was a there was a quote that somebody highlighted from an article and it says so that means you are free to create multiple characters with a different build classes and weapons in total you can have up to ten different safe slots and characters so you can pick who to play what how, why where does this, let me see I'm a, I'm checking to see okay well he checks that I'll tell you what I have queued for the week more Elden Ring if I'm being honest achievers uh, nothing exciting it's more Elden Ring I did unfortunately i told myself i wouldn't but i did i dropped horizon i will be back i will be platinuming the game that's a guarantee the moment i touched elden ring i was not gonna play but i, I couldn't not play it i just couldn't alex was having way too much fun so i was like i have to so i, I did drop horizon we'll be back we will be spoiler casting i promise that will be out so we will do it very excited to play the game the story is incredible it's just elden ring is just too good. This is this this is very confusing. Uh, what they said. So selecting. So they so the, the what they asked. They said, um, you find yourself playing a hero for hours and only and and on end only to decide to switch to an astrologer. You could res to cast a spell or two. All you have to do is is start a new game. But will doing this override your previous saves? That's what they asked. It says, selecting to start a new game from the menu screen will bring you to the character creator selection. It can be scary feeling to get this far without knowing if <laughs> making a character will delete an old one. But fear not. Creating a second, third, or even a fourth character will not delete any previously made character. Once you're finished creating your character, you will enter the world and start a new save with that character. While you aren't able to save the game yourself it does uh, save automatically and each save is linked directly to the character you are playing what okay so how do you switch characters then exactly i assume, I assume that's something in the game that you do this is because it says so that means you are free to create multiple characters with different builds classes in total you can have up to 10 different save slots and characters so you could pick i might have to find a video to look that up because if i could do that that would be awesome yeah because i'd rather make three i would rather make two yeah. different characters than no for beat sure the game three times on the same character exactly that sounds fucking hard <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm not so, putting another hundred i don't know if i'm gonna put another hundred hours <laughs> in this game no 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 achievers that's know. what i had queued up for the week that's your show for the week. I, I, we are, we're good. We're getting pretty good. Alex, mm. anything you want to talk about before we leave the achievers for a week? Now, I almost forgot achievers. Apologies. Um, at 5 p.m. Eastern, as of listening to this, this will already be live for you. But there would be a Hogwarts Legacy State of Play by PlayStation going live. We will be covering that prior to it launching. There would not be able to watch along. It would just be us covering just the show. We did not want to mess up our scheduling to also cover the show. So we're going to make that its own video. So if you can do me a favor and click on uh, our profile on YouTube or your podcast service that you're listening to, click on the latest state of play and give it a watch. If you want to fucking mute it, just leave it. Give us watch time. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing that. But Alex, before I uh, interrupt myself, anything you want to leave with the achievers, anything you want to talk about that we'd not get to, no, I think I got everything off my chest. You got everything off my chest. Got everything yeah. off my chest. That's good. I don't have anything for you, Achievers. So we're going to meet you again in the state of play for Hogwarts Legacy. Is it good? Is it cringy? We're going to find out. Thank you so much for listening to this Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. We will see you next time. And remember, go Chief. Go Chief.